The therapeutic phlebotomy um, to me has been a double-edged sword and I think a lot of people can relate to that. On one hand it's saving your life, it's reducing your hematocrit and you're able to um, you know live, you have a less chance of having the heart attack or the stroke or you know the awful things that come along with polycythemia vera um, or ET um, or myelofibrosis. I'm just all of them, right? Uh, so that's the thing is you go in, you get your blood removed, then what happens is you have kind of a less chance at having those things happen. It also kind of cleans out because with PV, so this is just my experience, right? Um, your blood goes through your whole system. It's not that it's only going to affect the blood, right? So you do have, you know, have an enlarged spleen, right? Well, with that, then it kind of crowds out my stomach. I don't feel very hungry. And then I feel lethargic anyhow. And then I'm like, I should probably eat. And then I get stomach pains when I eat. Um, your blood goes through all of your um, limbs, right? So my feet are so numb sometimes. I mean, literally I'm walking around. I mean, it's not even cold, nothing. And shockingly, they are dead numb and then strangely painful. I have to like work on them to feel them. Um, my fingers get that way completely just like dead. It's the weirdest thing. Um, so those are a few things, you know, just basics. There's a million more, believe me, headaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you have these things that happen um, when your hematocrit's too high or the catch-22 after a phlebotomy if you have your iron too low. Um, currently my iron, I think it was, oh, I think it was 13 and my, um, transfer and saturation was a three. And I just don't see those being exciting, healthy numbers. They're just not. But someone with PV, you, that's the goal is for them to reduce your iron to such a horribly small amount. And... The thing is, that in and of itself is exhausting. Um, it's iron deficiency. I don't know if they really call it anemic, and that's the difference, is because they are taking it from you. Your body's not naturally doing it. So since they're taking all the iron, then your body is deficient in that. Um, so with that, you are you have this strange catch-22. You know, I have to have this so I can feel better, so I have less chance of all these other horrible things. But then I have such low iron, I have very similar symptoms. My brain fog, I can forget anything in a second. And it's embarrassing. Um, I forget words constantly. And uh, I don't know, things just happen where you just, it's just different in my mind, right? Um, you're weak, you're tired, weak. It has been a new a new level of weakness for me lately. Um, I like to do handicraft things around the house. It just makes me happy. I feel like I'm doing something. And I was trying to screw in some screws. Nothing big. I got exhausted midway through. I, I have a half job downstairs because I'm just exhausted and it's, it's ridiculous. So that's my thing with this is our iron deficiency and then we have the PV and we kind of go back and forth through the, you know, through the two. And I think just um, taking it day by day, that's what I'm trying to do. And trying to remember, you know, those are the numbers. And numbers don't always tell me everything, but that's where we're at. Anyhow, I feel for you if you have it also. It's not a fun thing. I just wanted to kind of point out there is a major catch-22 in therapeutic phlebotomies. As much as they are so needed and so helpful and saving your life, um, it doesn't mean that you're going to be bouncing off, <laughs> you know, and being so excited and jumping and being like, yay, I feel great. It still takes it out of you. So um, be patient. Everything will be okay, hopefully, right? And um, I made another video on energy. Hopefully that will help you too. And um, keep plugging along. Wishing you the best.